Barcelona, it's Friday night, we're in the center of Raval and we're about to have some fucking food. Let's do it! Uh, all good? <laughs> we're about to uh, hit up uh, Shalimar right behind us. Uh, we're in the middle of Raval and I'm super hungry and I'm super excited for spicy food in Barcelona. Hidden in the main street that has not changed in the past 30 years goes unnoticed amongst many. The guest is the result of effective word of mouth where their clientele have become faithful to the dishes. Of course, again, quality and price comes dancing together. A lot of people are thinking, okay, what are the differences between Pakistani and Indian food? But how I would compare it is that Pakistani food is closer to South Indian food. They use much less milk and dairy products in their curries. So it's more like spicy straight through. Pakistan being a Muslim country, they do use a lot of meat, like the Afghan neighbors. We got some papadams. Is it for free? Yeah. Oh, perfect. Because you know what, in many Indian restaurants, they're actually charging for this. Around the corner here in Raval, you can buy this super cheap and make it at home super easily. Nan con queso? Yeah, I heard the nan con queso is good, huh? Quanto años en Barcelona vives? 26 años. Y Shalimar? Quanto años? 31 años. Shalimar has been going around for 30 years. His family has gone through many generations. Father? Father? Quanto el cos? Cinco hermanos. ¿Cuál es tu favorito plato de comida? Todo. Todo. No. Especial es pollo salimar. Pollo salimar. Espinaca con queso. Nan queso. Jal. Jal. Cuando uno dice jal, es como spicy. Ah, jal. Jal. Ya. A lot of people talk about the cheese naan. So let's check it out. Now, a naan, it's, uh, it's made in a tandoor oven. It's kind of like an Italian pizza oven where it's super warm and it's in the oven for a very short time. You see the lovely cheese inside? It has a lot of flavor, like... Mmm! Uh, wow! Wow! We pull up in here. Mm. Check it out. Spinach with the Indian cheese. It has a really nice smoothness. Now the pork paneer is not supposed to be so spicy actually, it's supposed to be smooth. I got a big piece of paneer and it was a little bit overcooked, but that's a small detail. I'm going to try some of the rice with the chana masala. In the beginning, it wasn't deep enough in terms of flavor, but then you get that uh, spiciness creeping in in the back of your tongue. Let's go for the dog. Oh. I'm getting some memories from the small local Pakistan place, even in Norway, and that aftermath of flavor, I'm getting that. I'm getting that identity, which I love. When I'm eating this now, like, I know I'm eating Pakistani food. And I just love it. Ki moja! Totally uh, exceed my expectations. Yeah, I'm glad about that. Um, I feel it's authentic, homemade Pakistani food. It's not, it's not something for the fans, you know? It's not something for the fans, it's something for the underground. How often do you come here? So I used to come here once a week. And sometimes when I was really craving this food, yeah. and I just came here on my own and I ordered the, th the stuff for takeaway. But the thing is, when you do that, then it's not a cheap eat anymore. Because Why? you have to come here in a group. So you can share the, the dishes, so you can share also the cost of the, the rice and so on. So what's the conclusion? Sharing is caring, baby. Sharing is caring, bro. <laughs> Nice and thick, I was supposed to be. It is cooling the chilies uh, on my tongue. It's a perfect uh, little uh, finishing touch of the whole uh, spicy meal. So, 
We just finished the meal here in uh, Shalimar. It went honestly above my expectations and I'm for sure coming back to this place. And maybe I should be listening more to my friend Oliver here who has some good recommendations. Anyways, guys, it's Friday night. We're going for some drinks and thank you again for following and see you guys next time. Boom. Got some drinks? Got some drinks.